One, one, one two, two, three, three. Berry, Berry Game, Game Exchange. Exchange. Let's, Let's roll! roll. Here we are, Barry Game Exchange, table one, table two, table three. We're setting up. All right, we're all set up, so let's get going and show you exactly what we brought today. So we got our PS2 section right here. One, two, three, and four. Then we move over, we got our Nintendo, we got our GameCube, PS, 3DS, and Wii. Then we move over, we got our Japanese stuff, Saturn, PS1, and Dreamcast. And then we got our discount bins right here. Then we got more. Lose Super Famicom, Famicom, sale, sale, sale pins. Then we move into Box Super Famicom, Box N64, Box Famicom, Loose N64. Then we have our Box Japanese import stuff. And then we move over here. We got our Game Boy, Game Boy Advance, GameCube, Wonder Swan, PS2. And then we got back to North American, PS3, PSP, Vita, Japanese Vita, that is, and then PSP, and then our heavies over here. Let's go. Let's go, go, go. Heavy, heavy, heavies on this table. PS2, Super Nintendo, sealed games, new sealed, old sealed, limited run, everything. And we also brought shirts as usual, but this time we were smart. We brought a rack. We got Magic the Gathering all along here. We got video games all along here. We got anime and we got wrestling. All our vintage shirts are here and we're ready. We finally set up properly. Say anything for the camera? Peace and love. Yeah. All right, you guys saw that uh, Turbo Graphics kiosk. That was pretty dope. You know, if I had room, oh, I'd love something like that too. But yeah, that's pretty cool to see that there's a Turbo Graphics kiosk, and it's running like the Konami game. But still, pretty dope and cool to see. You know, hey, by the way, comment down below if you like uh, kiosks. Okay, so we did a walk around because it kind of slowed down, so we're able to walk around and. Some of you know I collect 360 games and I do 360 only games. Like games that say 360 only and I walked around, saw a five dollar bin and I found a gem. One of the top five most popular uh, 360 games and for five bucks who can say no to Alan Wake. That's right, Alan Wake is being added to my 360 collection and for five bucks, come on, that's a hell of a deal because everybody knows this 
regularly is about 20 bucks. So I ain't going to say no to this. And actually, I've never played this. So whenever I get free time, I'm actually going to put... I'm going to put a few hours and play this game. Earlier on in the video, you guys saw something that I told you about. I guess it's that kind of day. Because I went to a booth and I worked out a deal and we got another copy of Alan Wake. Yeah, not for me. I guess for sale. Because always Alan Wake is a great game and it's a great one to sell. And then also in that deal, we also got 50 cents bulletproof. Because in the last collection that you saw with the PS2 games, people kept asking about it. It was just the case. Now we need to stock up on 50 cents bulletproof. So here are two great games at a great deal to stock it up. It's the end of the day. Time to pack up and go home. Packing up. So, we're home now, and today, it was, mm, it was a slow day, everybody complained, it wasn't just me, everybody did, but, hey, at least, you know, I went, we went, we did, we did what we did, I picked up a couple of, a few things, nothing special, got to add the Alan Wake to the collection, I mean, but overall, you know, Barry, mm, Oh, well, anyways, hey, if I saw you at Barry, hello, great seeing you. Anyway, remember, if you like this video, smash that thumbs up button and hit the bell button to be notified when we upload new videos. Anyways, remember, as always, enjoy life, keep on collecting, and we'll see y'all for another video. Yeah.